Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going to discuss this nearly solved problem of GFG. Okay guys, so let's move on to the problem. Uh, okay, guys, so here we are given n the size of our array and given an array of an element and I've given a value k. Now, what is k? K means k means if this array is sorted, if this array is sorted. Then each uh, like what is this mean? Like if there is an element x at index i in unsorted array, in unsorted array. Okay. Now if we sort this array, if we sort this array, there are some more elements. There are some more elements. This has index i. Now if we sort them, then this x, then then this x will be at index j. Okay, and now, now this j minus i, uh, the difference between j and i index will be less than or is equal to k. Okay, in unsorted array, it is at index i. In sorted, it is at index j. So the difference between the index of a same element in a sorted and unsorted array will be at most k. Okay, so we have to sort this array optimally. Using this uh, basically definition of the vector, okay. Using this property, we have to sort the array now. We can we can directly call the sort or you using any kind of sorting, insertion, selection, bubble. There are many kind of sorted available uh, to us, but now we have to sort it optimally, okay. And in the given time complexity, that is n log k. Okay, guys. So you you can understand a particular element x can be can be from here to here if this is i this is i plus k means maximum at i plus k index and minimum at i minus k index okay so this array is of our work till this index only okay so as what we will do we will take a priority queue as you can see here we have a complexity of log k so log k means we can take k element for a particular element well, if we have to put out this, if we have to find out this js element. So we know this js element can occur j plus k element, uh, j plus k index or j minus k index. Okay. Now, and if we doing sorting in one order, one order means first of all we are sorting zeroth, then first, then second. So we know for this zeroth index, uh, for this zeroth index, our element can occur here. So we will put the minimum of k index here minimum of first k index here now minimum of minimum of first k uh, first 1 to 1 plus k index here 1 to 1 plus k index here why because already a minimum i put there suppose it is uh, occur here then we already swap it put it here okay now this element is in my priority queue okay like what i want to say i have element 1 2 3 0 I have to I have given k is equal to 3 so I will put 0 1 2 and 3 so they will in a priority queue so they will occur in I will take a minimum priority queue in priority queue or min heap you can say so this will look like this so I am taken first element 0 remaining all element as it is I am taken a vector all everything are empty this one is pop out I push back this 4 so now this element can be possible the minimum of this element because for this element it contain the minimum k element here the maximum minimum the maximum number of k element here but i have already taken zero because zero is our first element okay guys i hope you all understand we have taken first k element find out the minimum put it in first plate then take an other k element find out first put it there then other k element we are taken k by k element and we are sorting one by one element first of all 0 then 1 then 2 then third index okay so now our sorting now our sorting just reduced to one side means we had already taken k elements we know our jth element can be anything among these k element okay guys so what i am doing what i am doing so now how many element i need to push back so for our k is equal to 3 k is equal to 3 our k is equal to 3 our k is equal to 3 
means for zeroth index it can be from 0 to 0 plus 3 it can be from 0 plus 3 so 0 to 3 so 0 to 3 so number in range 0 to 3 are 4 so we have to insert first k plus 1 number okay first k plus 1 number so and the index of k plus 1 at in this is k plus 1 number and the index of k plus 1 number is k because it is zero base index and so what i am doing till i is equal to 0 push back minimum of n minus 1 or k k is the k, k plus 1 at index number uh, k is the index of k plus 1 at number we have to insert k plus 1 number total in our priority queue initially and k is the index of that number and minimum n minus 1 because the maximum index my array can have is n minus 1 okay guys uh, one second yes you don't need to take this minimum because k can be and uh, because k can, uh, can maximum up to n minus 1 okay so minimum of n minus 1 and k is can be n k every time okay so you can just take this case so from we will just push back first 0 to kth index element in my array in my uh, in my priority queue i am taking a vector that is my v is my answer okay you can just take an this is my answer v this is my answer v this is my answer okay so we are taking an answer vector int now this is my min hip priority queue now i am pushed back first k plus one element in my queue so till my k plus one is element and till my all the left element I push I push back in my answer top element means the smallest element means uh, what is like here smallest is 0 then it is 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 oh okay and I have our priority queue always as many elements we can push back in it like if I am push back minus 1 in it, in it then it will look like minus 1 1 2 3 and 4 okay our priority queue is always sorted okay guys so top element means the minimum element that is a th element in my sorted array then i then i pop out this element because i have already used the front so i just uh, i just remove that uh, front element top element by using q dot pop and push back next element in my priority queue okay guys now suppose we are come at the end like this is one two three four five six this is my array i am taking sorted array initially like my k is equal to 3 k is equal to 3 then i have already pushed back from 0 1 2 3 0 to from 0 to k index element okay now for first element i have 1 i have used this for sec now i push back 5 in my array so now my priority queue is this minimum 2 now i have to use this i will push back 6 in my array now I now I am at the out of the loop. Okay, now my priority queue contain these element and I am out of the loop. So what I will do? I am come out and while my priority queue contain element, I just push back top element and pop out that top element. Means now I am out of the loop. And this is some other color I am taken. Then push back three. Means these green color element are when uh, we are completely traverse the array. We don't need to push back any element now. We just uh, pop out element and push back in it our uh, answer vector. Now taken four. Now they taken five. Then taken six and removed. So our queue is empty now. Zero element. So this is our sorted array. And at last we just written answer. We just written answer. So I am going to run it. We okay, correct output. Now try to submit it. Uh, okay guys all the 160 tasks we pass out i hope you all understand the approach uh, if you have any doubt then first of all try run it then comment out i will try my best to explain you please subscribe the channel i upload the daily problem of the dissolution of gfg so please check out my channel and stay tuned so guys if you like the uh, like the content then please subscribe like the video and subscribe my channel stay tuned thank you for watching this guys